Hi friends, welcome back to Hibernate Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in the series. Question is, how will you call a stored procedure in Hibernate? So how will you call a stored procedure in Hibernate? So this is a practical question and in many organizations where they have a huge database and due to the performance reasons they have created the stored procedures which run within the database so can we call those in hibernate yes hibernate supports executing not only simple queries but it can also run the stored procedures of database so these are the embedded procedures which are within the database and you are just calling them so there are three ways to call a stored procedure in hibernate xml mapping file native sql and using of annotation. So let's see in detail. So in XML mapping file, we can declare the stored procedure inside the XML mapping file in Hibernate, and then we can access it. For example, if we have this kind of an XML file where we have a stored procedure called call employee stored procedure. So this is the SQL query name, and this is returning as a class employee so that is what we are getting after calling the stored procedure and we are passing uh, let's say get employees method and employee id so all these things we are passing so we can call it with a get named query and like we first define the stored procedure in xml whatever stored procedure we want to call and then we call the session dot get named query and we give the query name call employees to procedure which will be calling the get employees procedure with the employee id so this is how we call it in a xml then we have native sql so we can use native sql to call a stored procedure directly so we can call the stored procedure query directly so in this example the get employees stored procedure is being called so let's see so we have query which is a native query and we are creating the sql query session dot create sql query and we just have a call get employees employee id so this is like a very straightforward way of calling a stored procedure but in this case we are putting the like embedding the all this native code is within our actual code so this is a like pros and cons of this thing is there that why are we embedding all these things within our actual code then we have annotation so there's an annotation called at the rate named native queries if we mark it then also we can call the stored procedure so we have to create a native query like this where we first uh, use the annotation named native query then in that we give us a query which is call get employees employee id and the result is employee.class and that way we can call the stored procedure by using the annotation so these are the three ways in which we can call the stored procedure in hibernate 